What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And before we start the video, really quickly, we have to talk about LG's latest monitors. These are the ultra fine monitors. Uh, this is the 27 inch over here. And over here, we've got the 24 inch. And I love these monitors because as a content creator, they offer a lot of benefits that you won't find with other monitors. First of all, I'm a Final Cut Pro user. So these having matte compatibility is extremely important, but you also get a very color accurate screen. But not only that, but when I'm at a desk setup, I don't need to use a dongle anymore because if you look behind the monitor, you can see LG has added new USB-C ports and even a Thunderbolt port over here. So that makes for a much cleaner desk experience. And speaking of a desk experience, LG was cool enough to sponsor today's video and give me an extra monitor to give away to one of you guys in a teching out someone's room setup video. So if you want a chance at having yours truly tech out your setup, check the links down below in the description to learn more and enter the I'm Ultra Fine contest. And right here, I've got what I'm calling my ultimate tech kit. Now you might have heard of the tech survival kit, which I made in case you come into a tech emergency, that's supposed to be the tech that backs you up. But this is where I'm carrying all of my important must have tech with me and it's all in a very easy to carry travel pouch. Now the pouch that we're looking at right here is made by the folks over at Peak Design. So this is actually what they're calling their tech pouch. And I picked this up because you guys know, I travel with a ton of different backpacks. I'm always switching it up and it's usually a hassle to take all of my gear out of one, put it in another when I'm testing them out. So I found something that I can just put my main piece of gear into and just throw it into the backpack without having to really worry about the little compartments. But as you guys can see, this thing is packed to the brim. That's what I do, I can't help it. But it's got all of the essentials. All of the tech inside of here is nice and neat. Everything has a little compartment, uh, but we'll go into everything that we've got here. Whew, what side do I start with? And you guys know me, I gotta have some earbuds with me. So I got a pair of Galaxy Buds. It's dope because these compartments are small, but the Galaxy Buds are small enough to fit inside of it without any issue. And I just love the Galaxy Buds because they're easy to take around. Uh, they fit in the ear really well, and they're pretty low key, except the fact that these are white. I gotta have the Galaxy Buds with me at all times. So of course, I'm carrying it in here. But we also have a pair of AirPods because I use a bunch of different Apple products usually in my backpack, whether it's my phone, my iPad, or my MacBook. So it's kind of cool to be able to have something that I don't have to constantly pair all the time because the AirPods are able to switch over to any Apple device without having to be paired all over again. It's just really, really convenient to have around. Even though they don't stay in my ears that well, it is good for really quick sessions listening to something. And of course, as you can see, this has the UAC logo on it. Thanks to the folks over at Colorware, which makes really awesome stuff. They paint pretty much anything. Uh, I'll have them linked down below in the description as well. And you guys can see when you open it up, I've got the custom AirPods as well. So I've got a dark gray, whoops. <laughs> so I've got a dark gray and a light gray just to kind of switch it up, you know, get those UAC colors going. And I also have right here a little charm, uh, something that I got from my trip over in Japan. This is a charm for a good luck in business and success in everything you do. So gotta carry that around with me in the backpack since obviously we run this YouTube channel, I always wanted to succeed. And it looks dope, I mean, look at that. And that's really just what we have on the left side. Above it, we also have some pens and pencils. You guys know me. You gotta have pens and pencils at all times, no matter how much of a techie you are you still might need to sign some papers here and there. So boom, pens and pencils, and they actually have these on both sides, which is actually really convenient. Ha, <laughs> I like my teal pen. But yes, I love the fact that it has holders for pens and pencils, because I get to also have a spot for my Apple Pencil. Now this is the first gen. Uh, I have the iPad mini around with me a lot these days, so I have the first gen Apple Pencil that works with it inside of here. That's useful, if you got a stylus to go with your, whether it's your laptop or tablet, you can throw it inside of here so that you don't lose it. But now that we're on the right side, I've got a Thunderbolt 3 cable in the middle. I mean, you know, I've rocking a MacBook, so having a Thunderbolt 3 cable is very important for hard drives and stuff. And right next to that, we've got something else from Peak Design. This is a camera clip. The idea here is to be able to strap this onto the strap of a backpack, and you take your camera and you're able to just have it 
right on the strap. Clip it in, it's locked in place. And it just makes grabbing the camera really convenient. Let's say if you're out and about and you wanna shoot a lot of things, you wanna shoot some photography or maybe you wanna do some video while you're out. And it's also not gonna be something that's like on your hip. You could put it on your hip on a belt if you want, but I like the idea of having it on a backpack strap instead because it's higher up. You can keep your eye on it and you know where it is at all times. You're not bumping into anything. So I really like this clip. Now, I also have this little plug over here. This is a regular cable to plug into a USB hub charger that I have. And that one is from the folks over at Satoshi. So this is a Satoshi USB hub. Uh, it charges up to four devices. But what's really cool about this is that it offers two USB PD ports. So one charges at 18 watts and the other charges at 60. Now with the 60 watt, you're gonna be able to charge up a computer like a MacBook, which is what I carry. And it replaces having those big MacBook bricks with me at all times. And I'm not worried about that big white brick taking up a bunch of space in my backpack. Um, and in terms of charging, we've also got a tiny portable charger. This is from the folks over at Nimble. Now this also offers a USB PD port. So if you wanna fast charge your iPhone, I've had plenty of instances where my iPhone is dying on me. I use a lightning cable to USB-C. And with this, I get a ton of juice within just a few minutes. And it has 10,000 milliamp hours in a really, really small body. So this is really versatile and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And it's made out of recycled material. This stuff is good for the earth. Shout out to Nimble for that. Uh, but this is a must have in this pouch, especially considering how small it is. And now we can talk about some of the cables that I have in here, especially since we're talking about charging. This is the newest cable from Nomad. This is a USB-C to lightning cable. And Apple only recently allowed other manufacturers to create lightning to USB-C cables that allow for fast charging. I think Nomad's probably like the second brand to have something solid on the market. Uh, but I love Nomad's cables because they're really, really durable. You guys can see it's made out of that Kevlar material. So it's gonna last a long time, very durable. Fast charge my iPhone when I'm on the go, whether it's with the Satoshi or the Nimble portable charger. This is usually my combo to get my juice back quickly. And of course, I've got a regular USB-C to C cable. This is the one that came with my MacBook. So I use that to charge it up with this guy. And on the other pouch right next to that, we have a Samsung T5 SSD. I have the Thunderbolt cable that I use to plug into it. Now you get two terabytes of storage in this tiny body. This might not be anything new to anyone, but it's just really convenient. I've got the X5 as well, which is the newer version, uh, but this one is just so small and compact, it really fits inside of here. So if I need to take projects for work with me anywhere, I could just throw them on here and not really have to worry about space. Now you might be looking at this thing like, yo Judd, what do you have on that thing? It looks weird. Uh, this thing is actually called the Grip It. This thing pretty much adds a grip to it, so it's not moving around at all. I'm applying some real force here and it is barely, barely moving. So this thing is a lifesaver and it's really cheap. I got it from b and I'll have links down below in the description for you guys if you wanna pick this up. Now, of course, I have other things like a USB-C hub. This is the one from Hutu. It's pretty much my USB-C adapter. You get three USB ports and an SD card reader slot, as well as an HDMI slot, and you get this extra USB-C port back here. Uh, Satoshi actually has a much better one than this, uh, but I have no clue where that is. But I've been using this thing for years, so I have no problem with that being the replacement for now. And you guys know, gotta have a microfiber cloth Keep that tech clean, guys. You gotta have a microfiber cloth, whether it's in your backpack, your tech pouch, your tech survival kit, it doesn't matter, you need one. And you also get another tiny area that you can unzip to put something maybe important in. Maybe you wanna throw a little cash in there, who knows? Uh, but it has a spot here where you can also put in things like some SD cards. So I've got a regular backup SD card just in case I need it. And I have an SD card reader here for micro SD cards. So I can just throw that in. I have access to both of those. And I also have my dongle for my wireless mouse. This right here is for the Logitech G502. The new wireless one is awesome. So I always keep around the dongle in here. Now, you would think that's it, but I actually found a really convenient spot for that second phone that I always carry around. And over here I have the Pixel 3 XL. 
Now, I always carry around two phones, but I hate having both of them in my pocket all the time. So instead of just walking around with two phones on me, I throw it in the back of here, and it's just crazy that all of this fits inside of here, but you know, the Pixel 3 is my go-to camera whenever I want to take a picture of something. iPhone camera's cool, this one's better, so that's why I always make sure I keep it around. That's everything, guys. This is what's in my tech pouch or tech kit. Everything that I could possibly want in the smaller compartments of any backpack of mine, I've got right inside of here. Uh, as long as I have this, I know I'm pretty much set. All I gotta do is think about which laptop I'm carrying and I'm pretty much good to go. But let me know what you guys think. What could I possibly be missing here? I feel like I got all my bases covered. Uh, but if you guys think I'm missing anything that could fit inside of the Ultimate Tech Kit, let me know with a comment down below. I'll have links to everything down below as well. Shout out to Peak Design for making a really awesome travel pouch. But Tech Survival Kit on the way. Stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.